Voyager, Explorers. The same curiosity that sends us to the stars and the speed of thought. Urges us to go there in reality. And whenever we make a great new leap, we elevate humanity. Bring people and nations together. Usher in new discoveries. And new technologies. So remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Right, hello everyone and welcome to Uranus. Yeah, the now humorously named planet was actually the first planet to be found using a telescope. When they came to name the planet, it was suggested naming it after King George III, which would have meant it would have been called Georgium Sidus or George's Star. Now, as you can imagine, the name was probably not widely appreciated outside of England. So others argued that as Saturn was the father of Jupiter, the new planet should be named for the father of Saturn. Eventually it was named Uranus, after the Greek god or an ancient Greek god of the sky making Uranus the only planet to have been named after a Greek god rather than a Roman one. And yeah, giving us the last we have today. Now to get a feeling of why a telescope was needed to actually see the planet, because you can't see it with your own eyes and that's why they couldn't see it in the sky, our ancestors couldn't see it, you need to think that Uranus is actually twice the distance from the Sun as Saturn. So it's twice the distance from all the other planets up to Saturn and then again. So there's a huge vast gap of space between it and Saturn, the size of all the other planets distances put together, with the planet itself only receiving 0.25% of the sunlight that Earth does. So a staggeringly small amount of light actually reaches it. It also takes the planet 84 years to orbit the sun, so that's quite a long time. That's probably you know an average human lifetime, if you're really lucky. Hopefully you live for longer. And because it's actually tipped on its side, if you sped it up, it would actually appear to sort of like roll in its orbit as it goes around the sun. I believe it rolls backwards, so it's kind of a bit weird. A large part of the planet is made up from liquid water, ammonia, and methane. Yeah, methane. Now, as we know, methane is a gas that comes out of animals. So without explaining it too much more, it is a gas that comes out of your bum. So technically the planet could smell like its name, but that's actually just for fun because methane is really an odorless gas. So we actually probably won't be able to smell it, but that was just for a bit of fun there, a fact that you can remember. Now the wind speeds on Uranus range from 90 to about 360 miles an hour. And the planet's average temperature is a very cold minus 214 degrees Celsius, which makes it the coldest planet in our solar system. It is said that you may be able to spot the planet if you have really dark skies, good seeing, and with it being an opposition, which is where pretty much we're in perfect orbit opposite each other and it's opposite the sun. It makes it you know, slightly brighter for us to see. Apparently you can see it with just your eyes when it's like this, but I would probably say that that is a difficult challenge in my eyes, pun intended. Ideally, I would say you need a telescope. That's your best bet. I mean, I have managed to see it, and it wasn't easy to find. You do have to hunt around around the stars a bit and find out where it is, but it does look completely different to the stars. So when you do finally find it and it's there, you'll see kind of like a blue marble floating in the sky or in space. Or as a kid once described to me at a Cubs talk, on seeing it, nah, looks like a bit of blue tack, which actually does. If you actually look at the planet, it looks a kind of a bit boring, just a big blue sort of circular blob you're not going to see much detail, unfortunately, for a telescope or anything, not unless you have a huge one. But even then, I think even Hubble struggles. But it does often have white wispy storms that go around it. And it's a lovely sort of bright, light blue colour just floating there in the sky among the stars. So you can see it, you know, from your gardens with a telescope, this lovely blue, funnily named planet. So if you can, pop out and have a look. 
Clear skies and remember, there's a billion worlds in your back garden. Yeah.